Sir, in the last videos we covered, sir, what is the process to call stored procedure from Java application, right? Sir, anyway, I hope you people felt very comfortable. Now let me convert that total theory into executable program so that uh, you people can get much clarity, right? Sir, very simple. Let me go for stored procedure app 1. Almost do you know total eight programs we are going to discuss in the stored procedures, right? Once you completed eight program, then you will get do you know you will become king in the stored procedures. Remember that, okay? Total eight applications I will discuss related to stored procedure. You people should have clear clarity about this, right? And you should practice these eight programs compulsory, right? Now observe, sir, stored procedure app one, JDBC program to call stored procedure which can take two input numbers and produces the result produces the sum sir and produces the sum are you getting so my stored procedure can take two input values and uh, produces its a uh, sum it's a uh, sum sum at the result uh, like this right sir two input values it's going to take automatically two in parameters and it's going to produce sum sum that's why one output parameter sir total how many parameters my stored procedure has three two in parameter one out parameter right sir now observe create or replace procedure yard proc are you getting create or replace procedure yard proc okay yard proc it is the procedure name next uh, num1 okay first in parameter num2 second in parameter num3 out parameter yes yes okay begin num3 is equal to num1 plus num2 are you getting num3 is equal to num1 plus num2 num2 like this right Sir, this is n under then slash symbol to compile. Clear for all operate, okay? Up to this, not required to keep any explanation. Make sure this is stored procedure, sir, ready in your database. Anyway, right? Now, to call this stored procedure, I want to write a Java program. Just observe the template, sir. Import java.sql.star. Next, a public class stored procedure demo 1. Next, a main method. Next, a connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection. Do you know up to this, not required to keep any explanation about this terminology, right? Sir, now stored procedure specific code I have to write. Sir, what is the first system? Create, create callable statement object. Next up for every in parameter, set the values. Next up for every out parameter, register with the JDBC type. Execute, get the result. That's all. These steps already I explained. Let me write in the program, sir. Sir, first thing, create callable statement object. How to create callable statement? You know, callable statement CST is equal to. Callable statement CST is equal to. Condon, uh, can I can I spell out what is the method we require to use? Condon, prepare call. Are you getting? Condon, prepare call. Prepare call. Sir, special syntax is there for calling stored procedure. Curly brace open, call, call. What is our procedure name? Yard proc. Yard proc procedure name. Sir, how many parameters are available? Sir, question mark, question mark, question mark like. Sir, total, how many parameters are available? Three parameters. Two in parameter, one out parameter, right? Okay, like this. Are you getting? Callable statement, CST is equal to can't prepare call. Like this I am taking, sir. Next, uh, sir, once uh, we created callable statement, for every in parameter, I have to provide input values. Are you getting? For every in parameter, I have to provide input values. How many in parameters are available? Num1 and num2. Okay. Now, CST dot set int. CST dot set int a first in parameter with the 100 value. Sir, do you know 100 is the value? 1 is the index. Index. Remember, index of first in parameter. Hey, can you please set 100? To in parameter locating at first index locating at first index like cst dot set int a cst dot set int a two comma two hundred like this I took sir so can you please provide two hundred at the input value for the in parameter locating at the second index right sir sir we we completed 
providing input values next uh, our stored processor has out parameter or not yes if the stored processor has out parameter compulsory we have to register with the jdbc type can you please guide what is the code we have to take sir cst dot uh, please guide cst dot register cst dot register out parameter register out parameter of what is the index of out parameter 3 3 3 the index of out parameter 3 comma comma with the jdbc types are you getting sir what type of values you are providing int int values then the corresponding jdbc type types dot integer are you getting what is this one sir types dot integer okay register out parameter 3 comma types dot integer so i created callable statement object next for every in parameter i provided input values next the register out parameter with the jdbc type that's all sir sir now execute execute that stored procedure call what is the way sir cst dot execute that's all execute that stored procedure cst dot execute get the result uh, from the out parameter out parameter is locating at which index right third so int uh, result uh, is equal to int result is equal to cst dot get uh, int uh, get uh, int of three sir okay cst dot get int of three i got the int result result system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln result uh, is just i'm taking result uh, sir clear result is result next uh, close uh, this connection con dot close uh, that's all con dot close that's it this is the simple example sir how to write jdbc application to call stored procedure because this is the first application that's why i'm writing step by step on the board but the next example onwards i won't write like step by step remember that sir can you please spell out what is the what is the process if you want to call stored procedure from the database very simple sir step number one okay make sure your stored procedure is ready in the database second one create a callable statement for every in parameter provide input values every out parameter register with jdbc type execute execute next to get the result that's all this is the sample code under this is the procedure right let me execute this code so that you people can feel very comfortable right observe that a bit carefully sir have a look once have a look once sir this is stored procedure are you getting sir this is my stored procedure right observe that this is the stored procedure create or replace procedure yard proc num1 in parameter num2 in parameter num3 out parameter yes are you getting yes like uh, yes uh, sir begin num3 is equal to num1 and so on why we are using slash symbol you know sir slash symbol we are using just uh, because to compile to compile stored procedure let me go to sql plus command prompt already there sir okay sql sql plus command prompt let me let me go for that sir let me let me sir copy that uh, stored procedure here are you getting that's all create or replace add proc and so on just uh, enter enter procedure created or not yes but very common mistake most of the people are doing is after creating the procedure compulsory we have to use commit remember this one if you are not going to use commit then immediately you are going to get sql exception sir commit after creating the procedure compulsory we have to use commit commit that's all next uh, sir let me open my jdbc application import java.sql.star stored procedure demo one sir connection con you know connection con is equal to like this next uh, callable statement cst is called con dot prepare call of uh, sir this is provide input values register out parameter with jdbc type execute and get the result result is equal to cst dot get into three con dot sir 100 plus 200 can you spell out what is the result sir 300 right let me execute this code sir okay now java c stored procedure demo one what is the output by default we are going to get sir 300 but make sure this 300 is coming 300 is coming from the stored procedure okay remember that from the because of stored procedure call we are getting 300 suppose i'm taking sir 
I'm, I'm, I'm taking some 300 is the first value, 400 is the second value. Have you observed it? 300, 400. Can you please tell now what is the result I'm going to get, sir? 300 plus 400. 700 is the result, right? Okay. 700 is the result. Just uh, have a look once. Let me compile once again. Let me compile once again like this. Happily result is the 700 by default we are going to get, sir. Okay. Sir, this is the biggest, this is the way how to write the Java program to call stored procedure. But here one important thing you people should aware, sir. How many times I am writing stored procedure? Only once, sir. But how many times you can call that stored procedure? Multiple times, sir. Reusable array. Remember that reusable array, right? Okay. If a group of SQL statements are there, which are required to execute multiple times, better to keep those SQL queries as the statement, as the procedure, and the call that procedure wherever it is required. Performance is going to be improved. Network traffic is going to be reduced. Okay. Next and after that, reusable array by default, you can able to see. That's why in real time calling stored procedures is a very very common requirement right make sure you people should aware are you feeling comfortable with the first example right let me go for next level okay that's all sir